Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. And I want to ask you, are you dealing with feeling weak and feeling down? When we feel down, it makes us feel weak. That's why I put those two words together, feeling weak and feeling down. I'm not talking about you know, physical body strength kind of thing of weak, but emotionally weak and spiritually weak. Like the kind of weak that comes from inside of you that's down, that makes you want to not get out of bed in the morning. I'm not talking about clinical depression and I'm not a doctor. So I'm going to stop right there. If it's serious like that, please go see a counselor, call 911, um, if you are feeling super duper down and it's critical. I'm talking about you're just feeling weak and you're kind of losing the hope in your life. And just kind of meh, like that. I discovered something the other day in my quiet time. I have quiet time every day. I spend time in my Bible and praying and doing other things to quiet myself to begin my day every day. And I was reading something, one of the scriptures, and I had an epiphany. Maybe you noticed this before. Maybe it's not so new to you, but it was really new to me. And it was the word rejoice. I've heard that word a ton of times, rejoice. You know, and the Bible says to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And when you're feeling down a week, you don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I get that. But I thought of that word, and the first two letters just really stuck out to me. And that's what I want, that, that's what got me thinking and what I wanted to share with you. The first two letters of that word are R and E, re. Re, generally as a prefix, means to do something over again, to repeat something. I was like, wow, re, joy. Wow, and the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength, and we're strong in the Lord and the power of his might, and all these words sound really great, but when you're down and you're feeling weak, sometimes they feel like a Band-Aid, and you're like, please make it stop. But then that, that, that re made me think of it about stirring up joy and stirring up those feelings inside of you. Like, think about if you made a glass of chocolate milk, and you let it sit on the counter for a minute because you had to go do something. You come back and a lot of the chocolate many times will have fallen to the bottom of the glass. And you'll see like this dark brown on the bottom of the glass. So what do you do before you drink it now? You're going to get a spoon out and you're going to stir it again. You're going to re-stir it. You're going to stir it again. So you're going to stir up the chocolate to make that chocolate milk be really good. But if we do that with joy, because when we're feeling down and we're feeling weak, it's like our joy falls to the bottom, like that chocolate on the bottom of the thing. And it's like, really, I don't feel so joyful. Yeah, I'm supposed to be full of joy. Yes, I'm full of joy. The joy lowers my strength. And we do it like that. But if we think in terms of rejoy and think of like stirring it up, and there's different songs that you can do to stir that up, and you do it with intention and think about it as stirring it up. And push into that of the joy of the Lord is your strength. Because that's what we need is strength. We're feeling weak. We're feeling down. And those are the two things we need are strength and joy. So if we stir it up, like maybe sing a song, force your face to smile. Every morning, that's one of my exercises. I mean, it might sound silly, but I smile on purpose every morning. Because when you're tired, you're, like, you're waking up like this. You're like, put a smile on your face. It changes how your insides feel. It really, really does. And so if you are feeling weak, if you are feeling down, I want to encourage you to rejoice, to stir that up, to sing a silly song, uh, read some jokes, do something to get that the happy, the joy, the laugh thing, to just start stirring it up. You'd stir that chocolate up and then feed on on what God says about joy. But we can't just slap it on there like a Band-Aid because 
that won't work. We have to stir it up. We have to stir it up. So I wanted to encourage you today, if you're feeling weak, if you're feeling down, to rejoice, to let the Lord encourage you. Let him be your strength by pushing into that rejoice in the Lord always. And it even says there, and again I say, rejoice. And so that was the rejoice. It just When I saw that the other day, it just really blew me away. Maybe you've already seen this before. Maybe you already have seen that re in the joyce before but it was new to me to see it in one word that right in the word itself it says to do it again so i hope that helps you today to help you perk up yourself if you're feeling weak if you're feeling down and maybe if i talked funny today because i'm kind of stumbling over myself because it seems silly to do that with a word but silly can be good that's part of rejoicing right so until next time i love you